Welcome to Keats Theater. I've got a blog site at keatstheater.com. Hope you check it out and enjoy it. Today I'm going to cover Marilyn Monroe, the goddess. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I just turned eight, yet recall exactly where I was when the news broke about Marilyn's death. It was the following day, Sunday, August 5th, when the news finally reached rural Indiana where I lived. The death of Marilyn Monroe was big in my home state and affected almost everyone, it seemed. Just seeing Marilyn, or even her last name of Monroe, was enough to get a reaction. Monroe was, after all, the greatest sex symbol of all time. In the minds of many, Marilyn was in her own class a virtual goddess who was so very tragically taken from us on Saturday, August 4th, 1962. And the reporting was that it was intention, that she'd had a hand in her own self-destruction. So, what ultimately killed Marilyn? Countless theories abound and many claim to be based on rigid scientific principles or so-called eyewitness accounts, many nothing more than hearsay. People were clearly aware that Marilyn was unstable, that she'd had an unusual upbringing by a schizophrenic mother, that as a child she was in and out of foster homes and orphanages, that there were moments of instability and extreme melancholy. The public wasn't blind. Her death was ruled suicide. Since she tried on previous occasions, maybe it wasn't though. Could have been accidental. And then there are those who cried murder, yet no one offered definitive proof. Marilyn Monroe ultimately died by whatever manner on August 4th, 1962. She'll always be remembered as the most important sex symbol of our time. But only Marilyn Monroe herself could answer the question, what happened on August 4th, 1962 to Norma Jean Baker?